Now let's look at this basis and some uh, tautomeric shifts of this basis. This is something which is new. I haven't discussed it about uh, in our in, in my previous lectures. So what is tautomerism? Tautomerism is simply the the conformational change. Uh, so uh, it, it's it's uh, simple changes in base pairs. We can call it the tautomeric shift of some group from one place to another place. Okay. So each basis exists is two alternative tautomeric uh, uh, steps as we can uh, see here. Here is in case of uh, adenine and cytosine which are uh, adenine is a purine and cytosine is pyrimidine. So in, in adenine what we can see uh, it contains the amino group in this position in the head position is an amino group and it not only has the an amino group as uh, is, uh, is uh, only one identity it can also convert it it in into an imine group what you can see here imine group means we have a double bond uh, association of nitrogen with carbon and the nitrogen is attached to hydrogen so this is how it's done so the um, adenine can exhibit two different forms amino and imino in uh, in other case in case of cytosine also you can see this amino group can be formed in imino so what happens in this case is this this deletion this deletion of this hydrogen from this uh, first position and it will go and at attach with this position and that's why a bond is created between this carbon and nitrogen and this double bond or electron is relieved released that's why the single bond of hydrogen with this nitrogen can be possible in this case because nitrogen has three valence okay so that's how the amino amino conversion is done and in case of another kind of tautomerism seen in guanine and thymine uh, we can see different sets of tautomerism we call it the keto enol tautomerism that means we have a keto group here in the head position uh, that is a keto group denoted with C a double bonded with O and that can be converted into an enol group which is one oxygen attached with another hydrogen so you can see the shift from keto enol so what happens in this case also in this case the oxygen have uh, this valence of 2 it is attached with this carbon and th this uh, electro this one bond is bra uh, is broken here and as a result of that what happens uh, it is hydrogenated so hydrogen comes out and attached with this uh, group oxygen to make an enol group and as a result of this enol group formation this double bonded electron is released and that eventually forms a bo another double bond of this nitrogen with this carbon position because this bond has to be formed to maintain the valency of nitrogen 3 and a carbon of valency 4 okay that's how it's done so in case of guanine and thymine we see ketoenol in case of adenine and cytosine we see amino and imino so how can you memorize these things because uh, these are sometimes puzzling you just uh, confuse all these things so uh, one simple thing to remember is that you have guanine which is G you have thymine which is T so think about the ground tank road or GT road and this form is keto form so <laughs> this is actually no the, the answer of mine is uh, actually having no scientific basis but you can say that you uh, you are running uh, in this GT road wearing a keto shoe that's how you can memorize this very fast though it uh, do not have any scientific basis but still it helps you to remember